Hey everybody, this is Jeff with Reverb.com and I'm here today to uh, talk about some sounds and licks inspired by the great Peter Green. Of course, Peter Green, um, he did his time with John Mayall and the Blues Breakers, you know, like Clapton and Mick Taylor. He came up through the Blues Breakers and then, of course, formed the legendary Fleetwood Mac. A big part of Peter Green's sound was the fact that, um, although he played a few different guitars, his main 59 Les Paul was out of phase, so to speak. And what that means is his neck pickup is actually spun around in the wrong direction. So the magnetic, the poles here are on the south end rather than the north end of the pickup. And I want to thank my bandmate, Mr. Eric Sailors, for loaning me his Les Paul that has the Larry Corsa out of phase Peter Green mod. So I can actually get that sound today, de demonstrating these licks. But there's three different stories. I've read an interview where Peter Green said he was trying to repair the guitar himself. There's a problem with the pickup. When he put the pickup back in, he put it in an upside down and just left it. There's another uh, story that he took it to Summer's Music, and the repair guy there was an amp guy that didn't know much about guitars, but for some reason the amp guy was working on the guitar and put it in backwards. That's another story. And the third story is that it came from the factory as a mistake like that. And the reason a lot of players are believing that story is because apparently, I think I've read that Joe Bonamassa owns ones from the similar era with the same issue or same cool thing going on. And apparently it came from the factory like that. So that's what I hear. I've kind of discovered with this guitar, it's got a, um, a pull switch here. When you pull it out on the tone button on the bridge pickup, it seems to turn off the whole out of phase. <laughs> Kind of turns that sound off and you have the regular Les Paul sound. Um, now when you engage it, that's when you hear the out of phase. Such a cool sound. So that's, that's what you're hearing is that, I don't know if you call it a mid-range sweep or treble sweep, but you're hearing that, that tonality, almost like a nasally kind of tonality come through when you have it out of phase like that. When I was going back and studying some of the Peter Green videos, I've always been a fan of his playing and had already borrowed some things from him, but I was just trying to find some cool licks and it didn't take long. I just picked out three or four that I thought were really cool. Primarily this first one I'm gonna talk about is in D minor, something that you might hear him do in Black Magic Woman. And what I'm going for here is. So I'm in D minor, but as you can see, um, I'm not, you know, I'm obviously using a blues scale, um, but some of those half steps I'm using, I guess, would be considered more like the Dorian mode. In D, which is that whole Black Magic Woman sound. So I'm starting at the 15th here, I'm on the high E string. Back down to the 15th for a regular note there. And just walking down 13, 12, 10. Playing the 13th fret on the B string, back to 10 on the E string. And of course what would make a simple look like that so special with Peter Green would be his touch and his feel. So that's what we're trying to aspire to get to with this. Staying in that D minor realm, um, kind of another similar thing, kind of, you know, I don't know if Peter Green thought in terms of m modes when he was playing or if he was more of a feel and ear player. Um, I mean, obviously the note selection can be traced back to Dorian mode, but anyway, the note selection is definitely something that works great in a minor blues. And similar to the last lick, this would be. So it's that note selection there. What I'm doing here is I'm starting at the 13th fret, going to 12-10 on the high E, 13th on the B, 10 on the E, back to 13, and then a bend at the 12th. And as smooth as vibrato as you can get, because Peter Green had a very smooth vibrato.
Still going to stick in that D, D minor realm. Now, this one should be very recognizable because this is pretty much the signature lick that he does in the Fleetwood Mac version, the original version of Black Magic Woman. And he does it at the end of the chord progression each time. There is a really cool thing going on after that, which is a D minor chord up in the higher register. I'm not sure if Peter did that because you also had Jeremy Spencer and at one time Danny Kerwin, three guitars. From what I've seen and heard, it sounds to me like Peter Green's doing this lick and maybe Danny Kerwin's adding the other one. But you could turn it into one lick if you wanted to. But what I'm doing here is I'm kind of looking at a D minor formation. I'm using all like the side part of my index finger but I'm catching the 12th fret on the G string with the ring finger. So coming down 10, 10, 12, kind of doing like a reverse rake. And it hitting a real smooth half bend at that 12th fret on the G string. Then back to the 10th fret, 12th fret on the D string, 12th fret on the A string, 8th fret on the A string, to a D note, 10th fret on the E string, so. What a cool formation there, you know. All right, for this next one, I'm sticking in the key of D, and I'm doing more of a major thing. major into minor. So I'm going up into a D major pentatonic. So I'm at the 14th fret of the G string to the 16th, to the 15th on the B string, 17th on the B string, back to 16th on the G string, back to 15 on the B string. Kind of BB King-esque. Then I'm going back into where my, what I consider my D minor pentatonic box. Here I'm bending at a full bend at the 13th of the high E. And then down to the 12th. Of the G string full bend, grabbing that 13 on the B string. Pulling off down to 10 and back up to 12. And it sounds so cool with that out of phase. So there you have it. There's some licks and ideas that I picked up from Peter Green. I mean, they're really endless if you check out all those old Fleetwood Mac records. There's a lot of live recordings of, of Peter Green and Fleetwood Mac, a lot of YouTube videos. This is just the tip of the iceberg. As far as getting his tone, you know, he played really loud through Fender amps, I think Showman's mainly. But, you know, you can, you can get just a, a well-driven amp and a nice humbucking guitar. You can get somewhere similar. So... Thanks for uh, tuning in, and we will see you next time.